In Pooh's and Advocacy, SEMB, a couple of fundraisers coming up for them. Uh, Connie Melanson Savoy is here, the executive director. Connie, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you very much. Our association is struggling a little bit right now, so <laughs> we're working hard at that. Well, that's good. All you can do is work hard and hope uh, hope things pan out, and that's that's why you're here. Yes, you know? that's exactly right. <laughs> let's, uh, so let's talk about it. Let's get right to it. Uh, there are two fundraisers coming up very soon, so we'll go chronologically to start. So uh, Move to Include is coming up on March the 23rd. Yes, that's a Saturday, and it's a 5, 10K walk, run, or roll, whichever mm -hmm. way you like to move. Um, so it's... Um, open to all levels of ability. Uh, we certainly encourage, there's a cap at 110 runners, mm -hmm. walkers or rollers, and so um, people should contact us soon so they can get into that. Um, registration right now is $45, and unfortunately because of it's late registration now, there's no t-shirts with that, because they have to be ordered. Yeah. Or you can, you can just, a little secret, you can go to a store and just get one of those like Hanes four packs and just kind of like draw oh, on there it. There you go. That's, there's <laughs> a thought. Right. We will do that. Inclusion Advocacy SEMB on the front and then, you know, move to include on the back or something. You can do that. You can make your own shirts. So, um, Registration is on now, as you said. Yep. And yep. the Running Room is one of our sponsors for this. So that's where people can register or they can register by calling us at the office at 857-8899. All right. So be sure to give them a call. Check it out. Uh, one thing about a lot of these 5K and 10K runs and walks is there's quite a few of them now, so uh, you should be well practiced uh, to, be able to, to be able to hit the numbers and, uh, and uh, be able to, to walk or run the whole thing at this point. And I think oftentimes people think you have to be a runner, you know, mm. to take part in these. No, and not at all. We really hope and people come up with their family, bring your kids, come for the run or the walk and yeah. help us support uh, individuals with an intellectual disability. So. Yeah, exactly. No, it's a good walk. I mean, 5K five, five is a nice brisk walk, 10K is, uh, is, uh, is a nice walk as well. So Except be sure in the rural it. estate area as well, it's not in the middle of the city, so it's a nice area. People mm -hmm. have enjoyed. This is our 10th annual, so we've had some really positive feedback about the uh, route. So, mm -hmm. which, uh, which neighborhood is that? It's at Rural Estate, uh, Chartersville Road, you go up mm -hmm. uh, Mount Lyon Church up there on uh, Lutz, mm -hmm. so right in there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a great area if you yep. want to go check up that, that area of town and, uh, yes. and uh, get a nice walk to run on. So that is Move to Include. That is coming up uh, two Saturdays from now. Uh, that is March the 23rd. Uh, so be sure to register now, as we said, at the running room uh, is the place to go for that. And uh, online as well, I believe you said? Yep, they can yep. contact our association or call us as well. So Yeah, so that's the place you can go for that one. That one's coming up very soon. Uh, so get on in on that. And the next one, uh, if you like curling, uh, we just had uh, the uh, the Scotties, the Maritimes. Oh, yes. The Scotties, yep. right? Yeah. I have, to, I have to remember which ones are what. I lose the terminology uh, in curling. I like to try to watch it. A nice win by uh, Chelsea Carey. But... Uh, Third annual Sweep Away Barriers is coming up in April, April the 6th. Uh, so if you like to curl, you want to try curling, any of that kind of stuff, uh, this is the time to do it. It is at Curl Monkton. You can register now. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So again, that's all abilities, all levels of, of skill. Um, we have a group of nine-year-olds that are going to be in it. We've got adults. We've got people who have played before. Um, this is our third year, but in the last couple of years, we've had individuals who have never played before. And it's a it's a fun time. It's called a fun spiel. So the event is intended to be fun, not to see how good you are mm -hmm. of a curler. Each team is asked to uh, pledge to raise $1,000 because it is a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a max of 20 teams, four people on a team, and the registration fee is $200, so $50 a person. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is, as you said, a fun spiel. If there's anything that I know about curling, about, uh, about bond spiels or anything involving curling is that Honestly, the rocks are second. <laughs> like, like <laughs> the the fun is the big part of it, and uh, and any and all kinds of fun are really the big part of it. And to put in a fundraiser with it as well, it's a perfect match. Yeah. So our theme this year is be a rock star. Rock play on the word for the I like stone. It. That's good. That's good. So people are planning on dressing up as rock stars. So, <laughs> so any anyway, and there's a number of different awards. I mean, there will be one for score, but that's the only one for your score. The rest <laughs> of them are like the theme or the most inclusive group or the best spirit. So there's those kinds of awards that will be given out for the teams. So there will be awards for like the best, the best dressed rock star and that kind of stuff? Mm. Oh, <laughs> right. Should be interesting. We'll We're have really to keep a look for it. So if you want to see like David Bowie, Elvis Presley, Mick Jagger, any of those people throw some stones. Yeah. I'd be very interested in the nine-year-olds who their uh, rock mm. stars are. So that should be interesting. No, for sure. That'd be worth looking at. So that's on April the 6th. That's at Curl Moncton, who just uh, got an expansion, which is nuts. Yes, and it's accessible now, so it's mm -hmm. much more accessible than it was. Um, yeah. So that's it's a wonderful opportunity to come out there and see the new facility and, you know, again, support our group. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, major shout out as well to the Greater Moncton Sunrise Rotary Club for that as well, as far as yes. I understand. Yes. Yep, those are they're our primary sponsors for that. Yeah, so uh, be sure to help them out and as well help uh, Inclusion Advocacy SEMB. Uh, so those are the two events that are coming up. As we mentioned off the top, things are looking, uh, is dire the right word? Bleak. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Star staring yeah. up a bit. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we are certainly struggling right now. Um, this is the time of the day that we, we usually struggle because we're between major fundraisers, mm -hmm. and um, our major funder previous to that would have been our um, our trees event, which was in November. So we pretty much depleted that, and um, we wait now to hear whether or not we will get any grants. And sometimes we do, and sometimes we don't. So right about now, we're um, we're scraping the bottom of our piggy bank. A little, little, little stressed, a little, little yeah. tense. Yeah, and so it's, it's pretty critical the kind of things that we do do because we are the only ones speaking on behalf of this vulnerable group of individuals and so um, we do have uh, you, know, you know the opportunity to provide that support and we serve individuals from birth to seniors in mm -hmm. southeast New Brunswick so that's the three counties West Milan, Albert and Kent. We, I am the only full-time staff and we have two contract staff and chances are we may lose one of those contract staffs. So um, trying to serve three to 400 families from birth to seniors across every, so it's every age, every stage is sort of what we say. And so there's a lot that needs to be done. And uh, this group of people, many of them don't have anybody else speaking on their behalf. So it's, it's a huge challenge and it does require a lot of support. Our primary funding is through our own fundraising initiatives. And if you'll notice by the name of the two events that we have here, uh, move to include and sweep away bar barriers, our events are a call to action. We want people to get out there and do something and help. Now, if you can't walk, run, or roll, and you don't want to curl, you can still donate. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't worry, they'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Before we get into specifically what Inclusion Advocacy SEMB gets into, and I know you touched on it a little bit, and we'll definitely get to that. Uh, because this is that tense time between fundraisers, um, is that is that common for a lot of nonprofits in that situation where you're at post Christmas, you know, you're at post New Year into this area? Is that kind of common for there to be a bit of a dry spell? I think or? it probably depends on how they're funded and mm -hmm. how much of it is fundraising. The majority of ours is fundraising, right? And um, when their grants do or don't come in, so yeah, yeah, and that can be a tense time, of course. <coughs> yeah, our grants, if they come in, will be April. Yeah. So we've still got, and that's again if, and if not. And we uh, you gotta gotta figure it out. <laughs> is, is, we do uh, have to figure that is, out. Is yeah. unfortunately that's uh, that's about all you can do about yep. that. Yeah. So let's uh, so let's delve into uh, the the uh, the programs that are available uh, through Inclusion Advocacy SEMB. So let's start off the top. Uh, you mentioned they're a very they're a vulnerable group of individuals. Uh, who is this group first in particular, and uh, and what do you guys do? So uh, we serve individuals who are identified as having an intellectual or developmental disability, and that's quite a range of individuals. Mm. And because we serve birth to seniors, again, that's another range. And then it couldn't be much of a wider mandate. We serve quite a large catchment area. So mm. I am the only full-time staff. Um, and so I'm the employee of the association. We have a volunteer board. Um, we have two contract staff. One is a, an adult literacy instructor, and that's a seasonal position. Mm -hmm. And the one that we're um, concerned about at this point is our pre-employment facilitator who helps those youth and uh, adults um, help better prepare them for some type of paid work. Um, we believe in real pay for real work mm -hmm. um, and 80 to 85 percent of this population are under uh, un or underemployed which is a huge number and mm -hmm. there's no other grap group that you can say that about. The, the other issues are about 70 percent of this population live in poverty so that's on less than, many of them on less than five or six hundred dollars a month. So, you know, it's a very vulnerable group. And there's mm -hmm. some other scary statistics about this group in terms of the rate of abuse for individuals and j just a lot of, of issues that individuals face and struggle with. And to try to find a place in the community as opposed to outside of the community that they can find um, their gifts and their, cha their uh, talents and then be supported to you know contribute those to us. So we do have individuals who, um, with those appropriate supports, can make very meaningful contributions in their community. We have a gentleman who's been now living in the community for 10 years with some supports and not a lot of support. Uh, up until then, until he was in his 50s, he lived with his parents who provided all his needs and they both passed away in a very short period of time. So mm. 
he has learned how to do some of those things for himself. So you know, that's some of the kinds of things that we will help people do. So. Yeah, and fortunately he was, he was able to make that, that progression and uh, you guys definitely helped out with that. Uh, we've got just about 30 seconds, so let's reiterate again. There are two events coming up. Uh, two Saturdays from now, March the 23rd, is the Move to Include, which is a 5, 10, 5K, 10K walk, run, roll, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, the Running Room is a big help with that. Uh, that's going on two Saturdays from now as well. The third annual Sweep Away Barriers coming up on April the 6th at Curl Moncton. You can register for both events now, and be sure to check out the website, inclusionadvocacy.ca. Correct. So uh, be sure to check that website and be sure to uh, get in on that. So, uh, Connie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. And Appreciate the very support. Very good luck on the events. Thank and you. We hope to have you here very soon.